Hello there, wild drifters, summoners, players, whoever and however you want to be called. And today we're talking about Zeri, my, I think, second favorite ADC after Ezreal. I think, yeah. Uh, and Zeri is extremely good, especially in patch 4.2. Why, you will ask? Just because... Just because because they added new items because they reworked the old items such as phantom dancer and because you want to build this phantom dancer on zeri to unleash her full potential because she is a destroying machine in this patch and especially with yumi so you better ban yumi ban yumi all the time i hate yumi Okay, let's talk about Zeri. Zeri is a S tier champion. She's very strong and she's not easy. So if you are very, very, very beginner, if you downloaded the game, I don't know, yesterday, the day uh, before yesterday or two weeks ago, don't ever play Zeri until you feel mm, until you feel confident in this ADC skin. You know what I mean? Because you will struggle while trying to learn to play Zeri because she needs quick reactions, she needs good aiming, she needs good timing. So if you're a beginner, especially ADC, in ADC role, I will not recommend you to play as Zeri. By the way, if you're a beginner and if you want to, to learn ADC role, I have, a, I have a video on that and the link is in the description. So you better go and watch this video after you finish watching this one. Thank you very much. Okay. So she's a difficult champion, but if you are a little bit more than just a beginner, you want to start playing Zeri because she is super cool. Um, but her laning phase, her early game is not that strong. So basically before her ultimate, she is not very strong. So I would not suggest you to overextend too much and to be aggressive too much because you will be just dying too fast and too often and you will just feed the enemy and especially if they have a good jungler who will definitely want to gank you because Zeri late game you do not want to play versus Zeri late game so just be very careful just farm just try to earn as much gold as you can try to take jungle camps if you don't steal jungle camps i don't mean to steal jungle camps but if you see that your jungle for example jungler for example is dead or if he is ganking on the opposite side of the map you just can go and farm his stones you know this little camp that that shen is farming right now here this on the left he just can take them no hard feelings um when you go to the lane you want to um, you want to learn your first ability first because it really helps you to farm it really helps you to last hit those minions because it's not that easy to farm as a zeri because her basic attacks they they don't auto aim just like any other adc for example here tristana a any any adc except for zeri they aim their basic attacks automatically but zeri she does not she needs to aim every attack that you do but in while it's in pc version but in wild drift developers decided to make it a little bit easier and then they kind of help you uh, to aim these attacks automatically because this kind of remembers or which target you were attacking lastly and it kind of auto aims it in this kind of this direction you know but i don't suggest you to rely on it every time because especially in team fights you really want to um you really want to control who you target and who you want to hit it's very important so don't rely on it every time her second ability you just saw it i threw it through through it through the wall um it's basically slows the enemy and if you do it through the wall you also deal the bonus magic damage which is very nice so every time if you have an opportunity to hit it through the wall i suggest you to hit it through the wall but if you don't have any walls near you which is hard to imagine but if 
for example just use it just to slow the enemy and to maybe finish him off and maybe to just deal some decent damage uh oh darius was in a bush oh that was an expected unexpected appearance by the way i now can buy the immortal shield bow and why do i buy it because it's a new item <laughs> no i'm kidding and also because it's a new item actually immortal shield bow is a really good item on any adc and Zeri is not an exception. The Immortal Shield Bow, I have here all the items that I will be using today. So it gives you 40 attack damage, 55% critical rate, critical strike chance, 15% attack speed, and 5% physical vamp. And also, if your health goes below 35%, you will trigger the shield, which will absorb the just enormous amount of damage. Will we steal the dragon? No, Tristana stole the dragon. But I think we will kill somebody here. We already killed somebody. And he's dead. Oh, and he's dead. I finished him up with my basic attack. I slowed Senna, by the way, there, but it was already too risky to overextend. Uh, further so I decided to stop just not to risk you know you you always need to think when to stop and you need to think about it and you do not need to be too greedy here I will be too greedy and I will die because of my greed you will see this moment so don't be greedy think think before you do uh, okay okay so, Zeri. Zeri, Zeri, Zeri. Zeri is a very interesting champion. Uh, and here, by the way, you can use your second ability through the turret as well. If you want to... Oh, here I will be very greedy. Look. Here I will be very, very greedy. And I will die because of my greed. I overextended too much, the turret hit me, I received damage, and they just finished me, finished me off. So don't be greedy. Remember this, learn from the mistakes, from my mistakes, from mistakes other people, from your mistakes, but learn, don't do the same mistakes the next time, otherwise you will not be getting better, and you will not grow as a player, and you will every time stay in the same low rank and low elo as you are currently in well if you are in high elo my respect my bow and keep it up okay so we're speaking about zeri her third ability is a dash and also it allows you to a uh, roll on the walls this is a really nice thing because you can use it to engage unexpectedly or to just shortcut any path you want to uh, go. And also the third ability gives you an opportunity to deal a burst damage through the enemies. Look here, I ult and I would be dead if Shen did not use his ultimate. This was a perfect Shen ultimate let's see it once again because it was just amazing look i'm about to die here but he ulted and i didn't die shen if you are here if you're watching this what's your nickname jean jinzo jinzo this is for you my hero you saved my life this was a perfect ultimate. I even gave you a thumb up in the game because I was really, really, really amazed with that. Okay, so your third ability helps you to deal damage through the enemy. It's also an important thing about Zeri. Very important. And when you want to engage in teamfight, you usually start with your third ability because it gives you 
um, this sudden effect, you know, like, Pooh, I'm here, hello, didn't wait for me, Ooh, didn't expect me, Ooh, I'm here. And also it gives you this great feature to attack through the enemy, because this way you, you deal extra damage to multiple enemies, and especially if you combine it with your ultimate, they will just struggle. They will just struggle while playing against you. But the, 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 the important point here, you don't usually want to start the team fight with Zeri. Basically, just like with any other ADC, because you're squishy and because you want to save not to say because you want to hit, to, to, to finish the enemies off with your ultimate and with your triggered um, movement speed and bonus attack damage, which gives you the ultimate. And do you know, by the way, that her attack, uh, I'm sorry, movement speed stacks every time you hit an enemy while you uh, activated her ultimate. Did you know that? So it's very important to stay in the fight while you ult it, as long as you can, and hit the enemy, because this way you will increase your movement speed over and over. Movement speed or attack speed? I think movement speed. Let, let me check myself. Yeah, movement. She stacks her movement speed every time she hits an enemy. That's a great feature. And remember that. Remember, it's very important. It's crucial for her gameplay. But if you see that you are going to die in a second, of course, you can disengage and you can recall to the base and you can you need to play safe because you don't want to feed your enemies. But just stay there as long as you possibly can. Here in this game, by the way, will be just super interesting moment where I stayed in the team fight, even if I thought that I will die in a second, in an instant. I I I was this close. Can you see that? This close to be dead. But I stayed in the fight and I I will not tell you, you will see yourself. But it was very beautiful. I stole... Uh, I did not steal because Shen was in, in his second um, camp. So, kind of sorry. But sorry, not sorry. You know why? Because ADC this is the role which wants to be super fed. Fed, fed, fed. Super fed. Oh, look. I slowed him with my second ability so, just so he won't... Oh. Won't... Look here. He chased... He's chasing my Shen. But I slowed him. And he turned away. And I ulted and I think I will now kill Tristana. Yes. Because I gained shield. I gain also shield when I ult. Look. <gasps> no, I gained shield because Tristana was shielded, I think. Let's see. Here's the shield of Immortal Shield Bow. Okay, maybe because of the ult. Because the second I ult, I also gain shield for a couple of seconds. Interesting. It was just very messy, so I couldn't understand which shield triggered which shield. But anyway, write in the comments what you thought, what you saw. Um. Okay. So I'm. Uh, I already bought. I think Infinity Edge. Yes. And now I'm building Phantom Dancer. You know why I'm building Phantom Dancer, by the way, Amzeri? Because Phantom Dancer got a, a rework. Just a second. He got reworked. And now you gain 5% movement speed. And you gain 7% bonus movement speed when you attack for 3 seconds. After attacking 4 times, 
you gain 30% attack speed for the same duration. So this item is so powerful on Zeri because all the Zeri gameplay is grounded. Uh, which preposition do I need to use after ground? Great, maybe. Okay, but it, it's based on <laughs> it's based on uh, movement speed. If Zeri has enough movement speed, she will kill everybody because it's her main advantage and it's her main power, movement speed. Earlier, before this patch, the previous patch, we were building Storm Razor on Zeri because it was good because it was slowing the enemy while you were hitting them with your attacks. But now you don't need it because you have... Uh, what will happen here? Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. We killed each other. By the way, there, look, look, I wanted just to show you, look, look at Senna. She will now have very low HP and I will hit her up with my second ability shot through the, through the turret, look. She's low and boom, she's dead. 474 magical damage. Amazing. So now you, you, I just wanted to show you that you can finish off enemies, low HP enemies, when you shoot this ability through the wall, because this ability has pretty wide um, area, hitting area, so it's hard to miss with this ability. So it's, it's very cool to finish low HP enemies with this ability. Okay, what was I talking about? I was talking about Storm Razor. So now you don't need Storm Razor because now you have a Mortal Shield Bow would give, which gives you a shield which saves you from even an Evelyn's ultimate. Can you imagine that? And you and you just stays alive. That's really very broken. And you have a Phantom Dancer which gives you attack damage, critical strike chance and attack speed and also movement speed just this is just everything that any adc wants that's why you see every adc now builds this shield bow and phantom dancer and also the collect oh my god i hate the collector i hate the collect by the way here is a very beautiful team fight which i was talking about before look i ult and here it happens boom 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 look at their health bars they just melting of course yumi was amazing she also did a really great job but look what zeri can do with only three items well it's not that less but three items is when you are getting unkillable and super strong basically just any other adc <laughs> but Zeri can 1v9, I think. I think a good Zeri can 1v9 because of her incredible abilities. I almost killed every uh, chicken there with my second ability through the wall. No. She's, now she's just... Uh, she can kill anyone. She can kill anyone at, at this point. Uh, what I wanted to tell you, I wanted to tell you something important about her ultimate. So when you use your ultimate, it gives you a shield, a brief shield, and then it also gives you increased damage, increased uh, a bonus attack damage and movement speed. And it stacks your movement speed every time you hit an enemy and it also refreshes your ultimate. So the longer you hit an enemy, the longer you will be under the effect of the ultimate so it's important to stay in a team fight while you use your ultimate as long as you can and also you want to use your ultimate on as many enemies as you can so you want to touch as many enemies with your ultimate as you can okay so uh will i ult here i think yes boom 
I touched three enemies and now look at their health bars. They're just melting. They cannot do anything. I'm even without Yumi here. I was even without Yumi. They could not do anything. Just incredible. Look how my ultimate refreshes every time I hit an enemy. So Zeri is just broken. She's broken, but she really needs to farm early game. If she is far, if she is far, if she has not enough gold, if 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 you did not give her to farm, then you you will not do anything in late game. Because in this patch, games are really um, fast pacing and you will just not have time to uh, earn that, that missed gold that you did not farm in the early game. So I dealt 38k damage with Zeri and with this new items and with worked ones. And if you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps uh, the channel to grow. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye!